week. Now, as you remember, he was convicted of murdering Angie Dodge. The Idaho Innocence Project determined years ago that Tapp was wrongly convicted. That was their feeling. And the victim's mother, Carol Dodge, agreed she has worked tirelessly to get Christopher Tapp freed. She wants to find out who actually killed her daughter. So, uh, so many legal type questions racing around. We asked Randy Neal to join us, and he joins us right now on set. He is a local attorney who's also the former Bonneville County Deputy Prosecutor, and so we thought maybe he could help us hash some of this out. Now, Randy, one of the very first things we want to make clear is we mentioned at the top of the 10 that the rape conviction would stand on Christopher Tapp, but that is not true. That's right. one of the things that maybe is getting him released is they have thrown out the rape conviction. And there's some yeah. pretty good reasons why. Let me tell you what the judges said, the judges for justice, and then you help us understand if that's maybe what's going to get him out of jail. All right, so the judges for justice, that's like an innocence project, got involved in the case in 2012. And so there were three DNA tests taken. All right, the tests were performed, the sperm left at the 1996 murder scene, did not match tap in 2009 hairs left at the murder scene did not match tap and then in january of 2013 touch dna tests performed on key pieces of evidence were negative for tap these three pieces of dna evidence are probably what kicked out the rape conviction do you think no i don't, I don't think so I, I think what you've got is this is a civil case that's that's affecting